Welcome to a PowerPoint lesson where we're going to learn about parallax effect and how we're going to make it in PowerPoint. So let's start off from basics. So open up PowerPoint and next thing what I'm going to do is add in a shape. Okay, so obviously we're going to need a rectangle which is going to be a bit better. Okay, first off, uh, I prefer like zooming out a bit. You can do it from here or you can just press control and use your scroll wheel to do that. But now I'm going to do is click on shapes. Click or make a shape according or let's say just like this. Okay. So next what I'm going to do is go to shape format. And then what I'm going to do is uh, reduce the transparency a bit. Okay. So I'm going to do is change or format shape. And then what I'm going to do is uh shape effect or shape outline okay let make sure that there are no outlines now i'm gonna do is um add uh let's say uh, no shadows no reflection we don't need any of those but what i'm gonna do is reduce the transparency a bit okay uh let's say 14 okay this is enough okay now what i'm gonna do is make more triangles or rectangles so i made something like this okay make sure to like rotate it okay let's say we need a bit bigger than this rectangle okay so let's okay first off i'm going to do is go to view click on guide so that we can see everything what's going on so i'm going to do is reposition them like position them however i want them to be so let's start off from here or maybe like rotate it a bit more and let's say let's start from here that all, that is also doable or maybe rotate it a bit more so i'm going to do is let's start from here okay that's doable and i'm going to do is control again and then make another one and i'm going to reposition them again let's say um this one well that can be done so now i'm going to do is add in the same transitions are the same ones which i had let's say this one okay okay now as it's quite done it doesn't matter if it if it if it's like not in a correct position but because it's a parallax effect so you don't have to matter much about it okay Let's say, well, this is quite fine. Now I'm going to do is uh, go to insert or sh go to shapes. If you want to merge them, that is also doable. Okay. So I'm going to do is click like the whole thing and then merge shapes. Okay. Union. If you like subtract it, well, that can also be done. But I don't prefer subtracting. What I'm going to do is union. Okay. And I'm going to do is go to slides or go undo it. Go to slide shapes again, combine fragment. Well, you will see that how everything looks like. Okay, so I prefer not subtracting them, keep it like however it is. So, next, what I'm gonna do is change the color shapes. Now, let's say let's change the color of it to solid fill um, because you need to see the intersections. Okay, so I'm gonna do is make one orange. Let's say this one should be orange too. Let's say these should be orange and I'm going to do is change this into yellow. This should be yellow too. Well, these are the back ones and this is blue. Well, now we can see everything. Now what I'm going to do is add in. Um, next thing what I'm going to do is add in the photos. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is select all of them. After selecting all of them, what I'm going to do is, um, okay, before that, what I'm going to do is like group them. Let's group them together. Or maybe not group them that's also fine but okay select out of this box not inside or on the shapes because there are five objects and the full page because if you click here you will see that this option appears up but we don't want that we want format background so when you click on format background what i'm going to do is add in some photo okay so i'm going to just picture and text filter so i'm going to do is click on insert and then go to online pictures or select whichever type of picture you want let's say cats or whatever you see here so i'm going to do is um uh, let's say um 
let's click on this one and press on insert okay when you click on that now I'm gonna do is click on each of them and then what I'm gonna do is click on slide background fill select on these options too like the whole thing my bad now click on slide background fill and then next what I'm gonna do is obviously add in next what I'm gonna do is add in effects so what we're gonna do is um, add on reflection or shadow so obviously you're gonna add in some shadows let's say um, this one let's add some sh um, shape effect here too let's add um, glow or shadow right here okay let's say inner okay inner top we're gonna add shadow here too let's say inner top again we're gonna do the same things over here too shadows I'm gonna do is this needs a bottom the same thing over here shape effect shadow bottom now you can see that this looks a lot alike okay well now I'm gonna do is click on all of them again select all of them now I'm gonna do is um, go to shape format merge shapes union like this let's zoom in a bit and see how it looks like when you Okay, when you subtract it's not gonna look good fragment combine well if you combine it well it's not gonna look that good so I'm gonna do is just keep it like this okay I don't want it to be any bigger so I'm gonna do is make the photo a bit bigger and you will see that this is how it will look like you can change like this okay and this is how parallax effect will work next thing we're done with the shapes next what we're gonna work on is the animation now let's go to animations now click on whichever you want to start off with so I'm gonna do is click on one of the objects we have five objects here which is one two three four five okay we have one photo another one 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 two see so as you can see that these are nothing you can see that this is how it works okay when you click on it and then drop it outside you will not be able to see it because that is um how it works okay it's according to the slide next one i'm going to do is add an animation so to add an animation select one of the objects which you have in your uh slide so i'm going to do start off with the, this left one so in the left one what we're going to do is click on animations and for this we're not going to select this one instead what I'm going to do is add animation click on add animation and what I'm going to do is click on lines okay you can do lines and you can do um, this shrink and uh, shrink and turn objects well that is also doable but first I'm going to do is click on lines and when you click on lines we're not going to go down but instead what I'm going to do is click on this uh, find this point and then turn it to this side okay turn it to this side okay go to animation panel now I'm gonna do a start with previous not start from front now I'm gonna do is effect options for, for making it smoother so it's not locked so go to timing do not delay duration I'm gonna do a smooth start four seconds or let's stay one okay one is good now I'm gonna do is add in effect options again um, auto reverse and next one I'm gonna do is let's stay on one now as the first one is done now I'm gonna do is go to the second now as we go to the second we're gonna add animation again we're gonna do the lines again not down we're gonna go the same way I'm gonna do is find the points and what I'm gonna do is click on this way let's say this is enough 
well uh, we're gonna do the same things here too effect option one timing should be not on click but with previous so it should be on previous effect auto reverse text animation we don't need that press on ok with previous so as it is done and this is also done now i'm gonna do is make it a bit bigger to my bad we're gonna like make it a lot more bigger because this is gonna like not end now i'm gonna do is um go to effect options again and after animation auto reverse to click on ok what i'm gonna do is uh, effect options again and then don't stop after animation don't dim okay go to timing repeat until end of slide okay make sure to do that but because if you don't it's not gonna like do it again and again go to timing repeat is until end of slide we're gonna do the same processes on this one too so i'm gonna do is add animation again click on lines not go down but go right this time for this one it's right okay now it's okay i guess click on it start with previous go effect option one is okay uh auto reverse timing with previous repeat until end of slide that's also done now i'm gonna do is the last one add animation go to lines now select this one too what i'm gonna do is make this one from here okay i think that we did this one so i'm gonna do is make this one okay add animation to this one um add lines my bad i did the same one again so i'm gonna do is make it like this what i'm gonna do is add start with previous effect option auto reverse timing should be um repeat should be until end of slide until my bad until end of slide click ok now all of them are quite done so all of them should be previous with previous make sure to see on previous not on click okay timing okay not on click but with previous as it has five i'm gonna do is cancel because this is like had been done twice do is with previous on click so on click i'm gonna delete this one i'll remove because i already have that so next what i'm gonna do is as all of them is done let's go to presentation mode and see if it works well this is how parallax effect is and how it works okay now if you click on escape well that is quite done if you want to add in more things like changing like the glow effect or maybe like the shadow effect if you want to change more you can also do that just go here and then what i'm going to do is format shape slide that one and then as the shade effect is already there so i'm going to do is reduce the transparency a bit reduce the transparency of the glow or i'm sorry i'm making it harder so i'm going to do is uh, increase the transparency like this so that it's not that much 50 let's say let's keep it like this 60 is enough 61 and you can also do something like adding in a text box now i'm going to do is add a text box by clicking on word art i'm going to do is um let's say this one do is somewhere let's say this one now what i'm gonna do is send it backwards backward back 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 not that back but now now as it's done now what i'm gonna do is press f5 well if you like make the slides go like all the way out you can see the text or if you like let's say just the rainbow okay press f5 
Okay, that turned into S rainbow. Okay, let's delete this. F5. See? So this is how parallax effect works in a PowerPoint. And this is quite easy. Might seem like a lot complex, but it's actually not. So by using the steps, now you can make your own parallax effect in PowerPoint. Hope you understood everything. Thank you for watching this video.